Hey everybody. So I just I woke up this morning. It's uh, you know today's Sunday. Um, it was my first. I was kind of just got here last night. You know I woke up this morning about one thirty two o'clock for some reason, and I got a message. You know that the treasure had been found, and so then I got on Kalazar's and heard a bunch of stuff. I double checked on Dal Netzel's site. You know. Um, kind of looked into things a little bit. I guess it might be a, a guy that um, found it in New Mexico. I guess he's waiting to talk to his lawyers. Um, but anyways, but I still went out, you know, and um, I've been searching the Poor Veneer Canyon. My warm, warm, warm water's halt has been uh, Montezuma, the Montezuma Hot Springs, and um, a tremendous amount of history in that location with um, our Armand Hammer and uh, this uh, college uh, but basically people used to come from all over the world to, to go to be healed in these hot springs um, and then it's, it was exactly 10 miles from Montezuma to um, the El Porvenir uh, campground uh, which is where the trailhead starts and then my home of Brown was uh, Hermit's Cave so there was this uh, this um, this monk, who was actually a Capuchin friar, uh, who wore kind of a, a coffee chocolate uh, robe. Um, he used to live on top of this cave back in the 1850s, and he would come down and uh, heal people, you know, with these natural remedies. So I had this whole healing theme going on, but and um, you know, so I'm a little disappointed, but I. You know, I'm I'm really happy for the person who found it. Um, you know, any one of us, you know, we've all had this opportunity, you know, to put our heads together and to go out and find it. And I obviously, you know, didn't. I didn't think the right thoughts on it, which is fine. I have actually come away with a treasure which I feel is even more valuable than $2 million cash of gold and diamonds. Uh, I, I have my life. Um, I think if any of you, you know, have watched the trailer for the documentary I'm putting together, um, you know, this this hunt, the chase, saved my life, you know, in, very literally. I'm, I'm very serious about that. Um, and so, I mean, I'm going to continue to film the documentary. You know, I got a couple little things to do. Um, with it, and I got a lot of editing, so I'm still going to continue with that. It's called Finding Forest Fun, and it's not so much about the treasure hunt. It's not about finding the treasure hunt, but it's it's about the healing that occurred. You know, due to me getting off the couch and going out and reconnecting with the spirit and earth. You know, Mother Nature. Um, uh, I had always. Throughout my life, I've had times where I've had these natural places that have always brought me back. They've refocused me. They've recentered me. And so, um, so I feel like I mean I've gotten my life back. Um, uh, you know, I'm gonna start a new YouTube channel. Um, it's gonna be called um, something like Natural Living or out, not outdoor living. I'm still working out the kinks on it, but basically it's it's to promote getting out into nature and hiking and, you know, eating whole foods and, you know, um, living naturally. Um, and so, you know, and, and through that, you know, I'm going to continue with my documentary um, and talk about how, again, how, you know, this has changed my life and, uh, and I'm going to continue with my hiking. Uh, I'll probably stay closer to Wisconsin. You know, we have some areas, but maybe I'll eventually, you know, go hiking on the Appalachian Trail or, you know, there's a trail up in the northern peaks. But um, but I don't see this as, you know, like a, a loss. Um, everything has been a gain. Um, I've gone out. This is my seventh trip. I actually have three more days. Uh, tomorrow I'm going to head up to Red River. Um, I actually did uh, a little segment on that. I think Richard actually did that segment. And, um, and I told Richard about it. I mean, and he's a little upset. But he understands and he's 
going to support me because he, you know, with this whole natural living type of thing, I mean, he wants to be involved in the new YouTube channel as well. But, um, you know, tomorrow at Red River, the Taos area, um, I'm not sure I'm going to go down to the Rio Grande, the John Dunn Bridge. I've done that several times. A lot of the pictures that I've taken of these places, you know, are, are really good, you know, and it's, I, I definitely don't want to, you know, go to places that, um, you know, it just depends on the weather, but, so tomorrow's my fun day in uh, Red River, Taos, um, and then I'm going to uh, head over to Santa Fe on Tuesday, and then, uh, you know, I'm going to spend some time in Chama. Uh, I've heard some good things about it. There's a railway, there's a railway museum there, um, so I'm going to check that out. Uh, and um, and then I'm going to head home. So I should be home in time to pick my son up Friday at 5 p.m. So if you're listening, Ivan, I should, I will be home um, on t in time. Um, I had a little bit of a tire pressure issue this morning, so I was frantically running around trying to make sure that I didn't have a leak in my tire. Uh, my car, the rental car, it's white, and it's just covered with bugs. <laughs> I mean, I went through some very uh, just amazing buggy areas. But, um, you know, I've had so much fun on this trip. I, I went out this morning. Uh, I spent about five, four hours out on the trail. I did make it to the spot I wanted to. I wanted to see what would be just 500 feet past, <laughs> excuse me, this waterfall. And um, there wasn't anything there. It was just kind of a debris-filled area. It didn't really look like anything. Um, but um, but I had a really good time. I actually ran into a girl coming as I was going back. She was coming out, and uh, she spent her whole life uh, with the mountains. You know, she was born and raised. I talked to her how you know how much uh, the mountains have really changed my life. Um, we just had a really nice talk and tonight I'm going to meet with um, a, a person that had appeared in some on some things his name is Jesse Benavides I think that's how you pronounce his last name but but he was born and raised in Montezuma New Mexico and so um, uh, he's gonna show me some ruins from some of the things that they've had back you know and again it's a very historical piece but so um, so I am going to continue you know putting the documentary together, the focus again will be on, you know, my own experience in, uh, in searching for this treasure and how it's impacted my life. But anyways, um, so feel free, you know, I, I'd love you, to, I'm going to um, continue to post content here and there, but, um, you know, I'll, uh, as soon as I figure out the name for the new YouTube channel, if you guys have any ideas, you know, comments, below on, um, you know, something to do with, uh, you know, getting out into the, into nature, hiking, maybe not specifically the Rocky Mountains, but, um, you know, I wanted to have an appeal, you know, a broad appeal, I mean, but it's nice if it would be also a topic that, um, you know, has an audience, you know, so, I mean, if you guys have any ideas, like content that you would watch, uh, you know, except for like a new treasure um, I'm not gonna go that route right now but um, but if you have any ideas on you know something to do with you know natural living you know getting out hiking in nature um, you know uh, that type of thing you know just please comment below anyways but you take care and um, you know you, you all have a, a great rest of the weekend and I'll uh, I'll talk to you soon